Finally tonight, after all the spooky Halloween things, we are ending the show with something sweet because Blue Star Donuts has a brand new fall donut. And here to tell us about it, pastry chef Stephanie Thornton and hey. Janine Rock from Clear Creek Distillery because those are both combined. You guys are taking what you guys make, the brandy, and putting it into the donuts. How did yeah. that come about? Uh, I am always looking to do local collaborations and I love what you guys do and I'm always trying to do things with you and in the past we have absolutely used um, your pear brandy and a few other things but Ooh. I haven't had the chance to actually make the personal connection uh -huh. so we're finally <laughs> like we love your stuff, have the time. Can you come yeah. hang out now? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I, I'm trying to, I'm striving to do all the time. And since you had Jacobs and Sea Salt, they're my next phone call. Oh, perfect. <laughs> salt, like a salted caramel donut yeah, or something? Yeah, I don't know yet, but we'll see. I'll take all the proceeds right? if that's the idea you use. Turkey Just meatball, kidding. turkey meatball donut. <laughs> oh, that, I mean, who knows? So this is the apple brandy crumble donut. Yes. And so there's actually, the brandy goes inside it? Uh, in the glaze, and Whoa. then we've got a uh, salted almond crumble on top, and uh, it's vegan, so that's been super popular oh. for us. Everyone really likes when we can make them vegan. So. And it's probably not alcoholic, right? The brandy is cooked into it. but It's it's, it's not cooked out, but it's not, you know, you're not going to get drunk, um, you know, but there is alcohol in there. Yeah. It's donuts for grown-ups. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Grown-up donuts. So tell me about the apple brandy, Janine. So the apple brandy, Clear Creek was founded in 1985 with pear brandy, uh, but Steve McCarthy, our founder, was looking around at local agriculture, and we happened to grow beautiful apples in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this little bottle takes about 10 pounds Whoa. of apples to make. And what? As, as lovely, this is one of the most delicious donuts I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. One of my favorite things when you open this box is you can smell the <gasps> apple. Ooh. On the East Coast, there's this tradition for cider donuts, and I'm amazed that it doesn't happen here as much. But cider donuts, they use the fresh pressed apple cider, basically a way of marketing uh, apples in a different way. Well, brandy oh is another way of marketing what? apples. You cram a bunch, you know, make a, a spirit forward, um, lovely yeah. concoction. I'm just pouring because yeah. I need to pour. Well, I'll let you guys that. cheers. We'll have our donuts. <laughs> the other one is a strawberry pistachio cream cheese. We have five seconds left, so cheers to donuts yeah. and the fall and all the wonderful things. Can I take a bite? Have a good Absolutely. night. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>